I think people stop flirting with their partner because they, look, people are lazy, honestly. Look at most people in their relationships. They're not doing the extra 10% that would make their relationship great. Hello, my name is Matthew Hussey. Hey! Exclamation mark. The game is building our confidence. The key to an amazing relationship is never stop flirting with your partner, but people do. There is a big difference between love and desire. Love is something that it's like we're, we're coming together, we're getting closer, we're becoming one. And when you think about it, early on in a relationship, everything is a gravitational pull towards being close. But desire is the other component we need in a relationship. Desire exists in the space between two people. And when you close down a relationship so that there's no more space, now desire can't breathe. So it gets suffocated. And that happens in long-term relationships. You have a marriage that breaks down, often not because there's a lack of love, but because there's a lack of desire. The tricky part is we have to do what seems completely unnatural, which is to sometimes grow ourselves or do something that helps our partner see us as mysterious again. Your partner's never known you to dance and tonight you take a salsa class. And you just need enough for your partner to go, huh? Like, you're, what do you mean you're taking a salsa class? Now all of a sudden your partner's like, there's something different about you today. And when we feel something different in our partner, it excites and sort of scares us at the same time. Because when we fear that someone's changing, we fear that we might not be able to keep up. Sometimes that's a good thing, because it makes us now want to like get, like, I want to get you back in your pajamas again, where I know you. Like I know you watching TV at home in your pajamas. I want you back there, right? But that urge to get someone back there, that's desire. It's we're, we're trying to create comfort again. Proust said the, the journey of discovery lies not in seeking new landscapes, but in seeing with new eyes. Too many times in relationships, people are seeking a new landscape when what they really need to be doing is seeing with new eyes. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.